Hi everyone, in this video I share a frustrating DIY superglue activator test. I tested the bond strength of plain superglue against superglue accelerated with 70% isopropyl alcohol and a water baking soda mix. The test samples were two metal corner brackets bonded together with a single drop of superglue. Three samples clamped together of a single drop of plain superglue. Three samples of a single drop of superglue activated with 70% isopropyl alcohol. And three samples of a single drop of superglue activated with a water and baking soda mix. All samples were cured for 24 hours. First to be tested was the plain superglue, which held 39.6 pounds, 38.4 pounds, and 46 pounds. For an average of 41 pounds, which is 10 pounds more than a previous test. And then came the confusing and frustrating test of the samples accelerated with isopropyl rubbing alcohol not holding any weight. And the bonds were easily broken with my bare hands. And the tests of the bonds accelerated with the water and baking soda mix were even weaker. In the previous test, the samples activated with isopropyl rubbing alcohol held an average of 11 pounds. So I went back and viewed that old video and noticed that I used a rope in the testing. I put together three more samples of superglue accelerated with isopropyl alcohol. I tested with a rope and sample one failed at five and a half pounds. Sample two did better and failed at 10 pounds. And sample 3 fared a little bit better, failing at 15.5 pounds. The rope made a difference, and these results were similar to my previous test. The results show that the bond of superglue on metal, accelerated with isopropyl alcohol and water and baking soda mix, are weak. It's time to get back to the garage for more hacks.